All right, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our Minecraft Trains project, and I am a little bit sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. So I'm gonna try and talk less today. Try. So what are we doing? We are testing loop one. Loop one is all wired up and, and tracked and everything. So let me go back to 1.5. Oh, this is already on 1-1? One, one. Oh, wait a minute. I need to check 5-5. Five, five. Well, it's... Hmm. No, I need to check 5-5, five, five, and then I need to reset it, and then I need to check the whole thing. Okay. One thing at a time. Uh, also, it's pretty hot today. I do have the fan on. You might hear the fan blowing into the mic, though. Those floating blocks over there? Alright, so let's get out of there. Switch this to 5-5. Five, five. And then check whether... Oh, wait a minute. 5-5, five, five, and then pass that forward. And then check whether all of this is right. Which, it does look right. Alright, and it goes 5-5 five, five all the way there. Nice. Uh, let me... Come over here, break this. Mark that, break that. And then go back to 1-5, go to 5-5, five, five, clear everything out. <laughs> Rejoin the link and then just test the whole loop. It's gonna take a while. All right, one thing at a time. And we'll take the opportunity to ride around a little bit. Oh, I need more water. You know what? I'm gonna get more water. <laughs> I can just I'm just gonna AFK. Hold on, let me get back to the station. And then get going. And then I'll go get more water. <laughs> So we're here. Going to 5-5. Five, five. Alright, be right back.
my good news, I have water. <laughs> so are these resetting behind us? Okay, they are good. So I'm just thinking, how do we do this? We go 5 5, 5 4, 5 3, 5 2, 5 1, and then 5 5 again. I don't know what I'm talking about. 1 5, we start at 1 5, 1 4, 1 3, 1 2, 1 1, and then from 1 1 back to 1 5. And that should test everything. Should. It should test most things. Alright, put that back. And put that back. Alright, nice. So let's test all of loop 1. And we'll see how long this takes. After this, I'm going down to loop 4. And getting the the stations. I don't think I've put the encoders in the stations in loop four yet. So we'll probably be building encoders at the stations. And then there'll be again dirt punching, cable ducts, tracks, wiring. Get all the stations in loop four wired in, and then the whole minecart network will be functionally complete. Which I guess this makes loop 1 functionally complete. Once I finish testing this, so I should put a new download. Update the, uh, the save file for people to download. It'd be nice, it'd be nice to have the whole network functionally complete. And then after that, like several months from now, after that, we'll be building out the stations in loop 1 and loop 5. And then the whole train network will be complete after that, that's it. That's the whole project. Alright, one for glue. Actually no, I still need to finish off the regional loop. <laughs> okay, so... Stations and then tidying up the tracks and then tidying up the regional loop track, and then it'll be f it'll be complete the train network. Might be done by the end of this year. I'm going to 1 4 from 1 5. 1 4. 1 4 is glue, which is back there.
Uh, this one? This one, what did I say? I can't even see that, it's too fast. I should say Junction 1 4, glue. That's kinda cool. It's a giant uh, ice pillar marking the entrance into the ice field. Alright, one for glue, nice. So glue to one three frozen. Loop 1, like functionally it's quite good, it's just that it doesn't look very good because it's all ice and snow. It's like the way the loop goes around the top of the hills there, and it's just the right size. There's like nothing strange about this loop. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Three frozen. One two oasis, which is a completely different thing because we're going into the desert. and 1-1 one, one are the longer branches. 1-1 one, one more than anything. Alright, 1-2 Oasis is this exit.
big ass bridge. The scale might be off. The scale of that bridge. <laughs> Just thinking if I. I was always thinking of a giant suspension bridge there, but. It would be taller than the mountains. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Alright, nice. So this is Oasis, which is like that little thing there. And then 1 1 Nord. I haven't built the uh, the encoders for a long time. Hope I still remember how to do them. This exit, right? Yep. Junction 1 1. This is gonna take a long time. So, the reason we walk backwards through this, or we test backwards through this, is um, we make sure that we, we don't go down any of the other junctions because the junctions are lined up. Uh, counterclockwise, like one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, I mean, one, two, three, four, and five. Wait, for me it's counterclockwise. For you, because you, for you it, it looks like it's clockwise. Oh my bad. Anyway, from my perspective, it's counterclockwise. <laughs> and uh, if you go from one to two to three to four to five. You don't, you don't test one one going past uh, one three one four and one five because it just goes straight down the next one. So if there's something broken in the other junctions, you wouldn't find out. But going backwards, if you go from one two to one one, you have to go past one three one four one five before you reach one one. So you go past all the other junctions. So if any of those are wrong, and for some reason you go down one of those junctions, then you, you know to fix it. So that's why we test backwards instead of forwards, because it goes through more of the junctions each time. It's more thorough, is what it means.